CompTIA Network Plus N10-009 Practice Exam Questions 61 through 65 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 61. A network technician needs to securely access the command line interface of a network switch over an untrusted network. Which of the following ports should be open to ensure encrypted remote access? The answer is A. 22. Port 22 is assigned to Secure Shell, a protocol designed for secure remote access to network devices. Secure Shell encrypts data transmissions, ensuring that login credentials and commands remain protected from interception. It is widely used for accessing the command line interface of network switches, routers, and servers, allowing administrators to configure and troubleshoot devices remotely with strong encryption and authentication. Question 62. A company experiences slow website load times for users in different regions. To improve performance and reduce latency, which of the following technologies should be implemented to cache and distribute web content closer to users? The answer is B. CDN. A CDN, or Content Delivery Network, is a distributed network of servers that catches and delivers web content closer to users based on their geographic location. By reducing the physical distance between users and web servers, CDNs minimize latency, improve website load times, and enhance the overall user experience. This technology is essential for websites with global audiences, as it helps balance traffic and prevents server overload. Question 63. A network engineer is expanding wireless coverage in an office to allow multiple devices to connect seamlessly within a designated WLAN. Which of the following devices should be deployed to extend wireless connectivity? The answer is B. Access point. An access point, or AP for short, extends the wireless network by allowing multiple devices to connect within a designated WLAN. It serves as a bridge between wireless clients and the wired network, ensuring seamless mobility and coverage. Question 64. An administrator is configuring a switch for a shared workspace where both employees and visitors have access. To prevent unauthorized devices from gaining network access, which of the following should the administrator implement? The answer is D. 802.1x. 802.1x is a network access control protocol that requires devices to authenticate before being granted access to the network. It is commonly used in enterprise environments to prevent unauthorized users from connecting to wired and wireless networks. By enforcing authentication at the switch or access point, 802.1x ensures that only approved devices can access the network, mitigating security risks in public or shared areas. Question 65. A network engineer is planning the installation of new Ethernet cabling across multiple floors of a building. Which of the following diagrams would provide details about connector types and cable runs? The answer is B. Physical. A physical diagram outlines the actual hardware layout of a network, including Ethernet cable types, connector specifications, and cable pathways. This type of diagram is crucial for network deployment, ensuring accurate cabling and connectivity for proper data transmission. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.